Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Desh and in this tutorial, we are going to create an environmental asset in Maya. We're going to try and create this livestock shed. And first, I'm going to set up a material for this model. So we are going to use the hypershade for the texturing of this shed. So let's open the hypershade. Let's press tab and search for standard surface. So select this AI standard surface. And uh, I'm going to import my AO and the base color in the hypershade. So I'm going to place this AO here and albedo over here. So we need to combine these two maps. And for that, I'm going to take a multiply node. So search for multiply and select this AI multiply. Place it here and uh, take the out color of your albedo and connect it to input 1 and the out color of your AO to input 2 and select the out color of your multiply node and connect it to the base color you can rename it as wood so let's take a cube and uh, right click go to assign existing material and select this wood go to attribute editor and go to this material turn down the specular and in the roughness let's import our roughness map change the color space to raw and go to color balance Select this alpha is luminance. Now go to geometry and select this bump mapping. Go to file, change this use as to tangent space normal. Go to bump value and import your normal map. Again, uh, go to color space and change the color space to draw. If your scene is a little bit darker, what you can do is go to create lights and take this directional light. Pull it up and let's rotate it a little bit and press 7 to enable the lights. Go to attribute editor and increase the intensity. So we have uh, created this material. Now we will start modeling our shed. So let's start these uh, planks for the sides and for the back. And for that, I'm going to take a cube. Press T to open the parameters. Decrease the height. to 0 0.2 and depth let's take 8 for this or maybe let's take 10 and I'm going to go to edge mode and select all these edges then bevel Add one segment, turn down the fraction to 0.4 and I'm going to unwrap this. So let's go to UV editing, go to create and automatic, select these edges and then move and sew. Connect these edges here. And at last, let's uh, connect these shells. So move and sew. One up here. Also these corners.
Now right click and go to assign existing material and select this wood. Now again go to your UV editing, go to shell and rotate it. And you can add all kinds of variation for this. What you can do is uh, let's go to top view and uh, take the multi cut tool. Let's add one cut here, one here and one here. You can select these and pull them up here like this. And you can scale them just a little bit. Now you can select this and create a duplicate, place this one here, press shift T to duplicate with transformation. Now randomly select some cubes like this, go to modify and center pivot then rotate also these now go to modify center pivot and rotate like this to add some variation in the texture and now what you can do is just select some of them and uh, select the vertices, make some more variations like this. Just tweak these vertices. And let's take another cube, place it here, go to front view, decrease the height to 0 0.35, pull it up here, like this, place it here, select these vertices and pull them till here to this end and uh, Scale it like this, maybe just a little bit in the Y axis, go to front view again and uh, pull it down like this, now go to edge mode, select all these edges, then bevel, add one segment, turn down the fraction to 0 0.4 and uh, go to your UV editor and once again automatic and move in Sue Assign the same material for this block and uh, let's rotate it. Select this, go to top view and place it up here. Create a duplicate and place this one down here. Now you can select this and uh, combine 
go to front view again and let's rotate it like this pull it up and place this one here like this and create a duplicate and place that one on this side now we need to create uh, some for the back so go to top view create another duplicate rotate it like this and uh, let's place it here on this side one more duplicate go to front view and place that one here so now we need uh, some more planks for this part here so what you can do is uh, select this and uh, separate just randomly select three planks create a duplicate and place them uh, here like this Select this one and uh, go to your vertex mode, select all these vertices and just extend them till here like this. Same for this one, let's place it here like this. Go to vertex mode, just tweak these vertices. Like this. And now select this one, go to front view and vertex mode, select this vertices and just expand. Like this. Or what you can do is you can just select this and uh, separate then delete these two and also this one now select this one and extend these vertices all the way till here now create a duplicate but uh, before doing that let's just go to your UV editing and uh, let's unfold and then layout so that our texture won't stretch like this now you can select this create a duplicate place it down here so the sides and the back of our shed is almost completed Let's just add one support in the middle. So what you can do, just select this and uh, create a duplicate. Go to front view and uh, rotate it like this. Modify center pivot, pull it up like this till here. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices, pull them up. Now select these vertices and let's um, scale it a little bit like this. Go to modify center pivot. Place it here. Again go to your UV editor. And uh, select this go to UV shell then unfold. And layout. To modify center pivot and uh, try rotating it a little bit 
like this go to front view select this go to vertex mode select these vertices and pull them down a little bit and place it up here delete this one select this and go to your uv editing and unfold then layout select it Create a duplicate, place this one down here. Go to modify, center pivot and rotate it just to add a little bit of texture variation. And for this one, go to front view again vertex mode and place these vertices up here and these ones down let's place them all the way down here and uh, these ones a little bit up so select this go to uv editing and uh, unfold then layout modify enter pivot you can rotate Again go to front view and let's select everything. And uh, combine. So we have these three panels. Now we just need to create the roof and the support. So that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then uh, like this video. You can also subscribe to the channel and i'll be posting the second part of this tutorial very soon so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching